Hey friends, Cinema Recapped here. Today I will explain to you a American fantasy and drama movie called I Killed Giants. The movie starts with a girl called Barbara Thorson who comes into the forest. She picks up mushroom spores to mix into her potion. Subsequently, she hears the sound of someone approaching in. Thus, she tiddies up her belongings and instantly leaves the place. Besides that, she makes a decoy utilizing the potions he just made. When she monitors the bait from afar, she is very shocked because there is a giant hand that approaches the bait. Reaching home, she notes in her journal that the potion he made earlier has succeeded in luring the giant to come out. She lives independently with her brother, Dave, and her older sister, Karen. The following morning, she is annoyed by Dave because he is very noisy while playing video games with his friends. Therefore, Barbara instantly turns off the video game as he ignores her. An angry Dave takes her dice and throws them at the food which Karen just made. After a while, Barbara takes out her homemade binoculars to look at the sea. Suddenly, she sees a fairly large whirlpool. Out of curiosity, she wants to take a closer look at it, but unfortunately, the whirlpool has vanished. When she enters the house, she overhears Dave's conversation saying that she is crazy. Feeling hurt, she ends up going to her base camp in the basement. She listens to the radio while sewing her bag. Unluckily, her finger is punctured with the needle. She then smeared her blood on her back while chanting a spell. Afterwards, she goes to the kitchen to pick up the leftovers with the intention of hanging them on a pole somewhere near the sea. Soon, she goes to the evacuated train yard. There, she draws symbols on the railway wagon. One day, she goes to the beach and meets Sophia, a girl who just moved to the area. She instantly expresses an interest in getting to know Barbara, but sadly Barbara initially remains aloof. When she returns home, she unintentionally sees her sister on the phone. Looks like Karen has some difficulties at work, but then she leaves because there's nothing she can do about it. On the next day, while she is waiting for the school bus, she sees a bad omen being conveyed by a flock of pigeons. Unexpectedly, Sophia comes and takes Barbara's binoculars to look at what she's looking at. When the school bus arrives, she asks Barbara to sit next to her because she only knows Barbara. But then again, she refuses and goes to sit in the back of the bus instead. At the school, Barbara checks the talisman she has made beforehand. Meanwhile, one of the teachers quietly follows her from behind as she notices Barbara behaving strangely. In the toilet, Barbara discovers another ominous sign in the drain under the washstand. On the other hand, the teacher finds a strange symbol engraved on the wooden door. She then decides to go inside at the same time with Barbara who is about to come out of the toilet. It is disclosed that Barbara covers the broken drain with duct tape. During break time, Barbara is addressed by a group of bullies led by Taylor. Because of it, a confrontation breaks out between them, but fortunately is interrupted by the school psychologist, Mrs. Mal who calls for Barbara to come to her room. She asks Barbara about her likes and dislikes, but then she leaves the meeting suddenly, declaring that their talk will just distract her from her preparations to battle a giant. Later, she is being confronted again by Taylor. Just at the right time, Sophia calls the principal to help Barbara. After that, the two walk jointly at the beach. Barbara invites Sophia to come to her base camp called the Holy Sanctuary. She then explains the myth behind the giants to Sophia. In the past, all the giants were descendants of her, the first giant who was the misbegotten son of the earth and sky, or gave birth to giants on earth. There were the first king of the earth, frost giants, swamp giants, mountain giants, and harbingers, in which where there is a harbinger, there is also a giant nearby. The last one is Titan, the biggest and most terrible giant. Subsequently that, she shows Sophia the baits and traps which she created to lure and trap giants. She also tells her about the magical warhammer called Kavileski, which she keeps in her handbag to find and kill the giants. The next day, Mrs. 
Maul invites Barbara back to her room to find out more about her. But it all seems hopeless when she keeps talking and showing her journal about the giants. During baseball, Barbara unexpectedly invites Sophia to hunt a giant. But she refuses because she does not want to get into trouble. At the same time, the teacher does not allow her to leave, causing her to insult the teacher's work. Accordingly, she is suspended for one week by the principal for insulting the baseball teacher. Even so, she is still happy to get a letter from Sophia apologizing to her. On her way to meet Sophia, Barbara opens her handbag to store the letter. Surprisingly, there's red light coming out of the bag. She then apologizes because she opened the bag for a different purpose. Ultimately, the light goes off and she rushes out to hunt Giant. As Sophia sees Barbara run, she then approaches and follows her to hunt the giant. Nonetheless, Sophia starts to doubt Barbara's claims about the giants because they cannot find the giants there. She then goes first, leaving Barbara behind. Unexpectedly, a harbinger approaches Barbara, but she just stands in silence and shock. Because of this, she asks Sophia for her blood to protect her from the harbingers. Soon, Mrs. Mal asks Barbara about her interest in baseball. Suddenly, the question makes her feel sad because she remembers her past. Feeling depressed, she becomes lost in her bad memories, causing her to slap Mrs. Mal and runs straight to her home. As she continues to think about the previous question in a daze, she is stunned by Sophia and then reflexively strikes her. Because of that, Taylor and her friends also laugh at her. Even though Barbara tries to apologize, Sophia runs off. Later, Sophia is approached by Taylor who guarantees to tell a secret about Barbara if she is willing to show them some of the freaky things Barbara has been doing all along. Sophia agrees about it, leading Taylor and her friends to the Holy Sanctuary. They continue to dismantle all of Barbara's traps. Knowing this, Barbara interrupts them and instantly takes out Kavaleski, which turns out to be the jawbone of a small animal tied to a stick. She is shocked by the state of her gun, and then she is beaten by Taylor and her friends. Sophia then takes Barbara to Barbara's home to recover. When she wakes up, she becomes very upset at being brought upstairs. Then, she sees Sophia who is scared looking into one of the bedrooms. She then tells Sophia to gradually walk away, before something called it sees her. Sophia drops a glass of water in shock before fleeing the house. Subsequently that, Barbara visits Mrs. Mall at her house looking for help. But she grows uncomfortable upon being introduced to her family, and she runs back into the forest. Since that incident, Barbara has vanished and has not gone to school for a few days. On the other side, she sets some traps to fight the giants alone. Back to Sophia who never sees Barbara again, she and Mrs. Mal ultimately visit Barbara's house. In the basement, Sophia discovers a recording of Barbara and her mother seeing the story of Kowaleski's nickname, the Giant Killer. With that information, Sophia leaves the house and eventually finds Barbara. At first, Barbara gets angry with her because her Kowaleski was broken and she feels that Sophia has betrayed her. Meanwhile, Sophia keeps telling her that all of the giants are in her head and asks her why she never chats about her mother, even though Barbara shuts out the question and she is unable to hear it. Barbara angrily storms off and slams the table. Outside, she is approached again by harbingers who insult her, saying that she is too weak to defeat a giant. Therefore, Barbara heads to face the giant at the abandoned train yard. She hides in the trains, but she keeps being hunted by the giant. She ends up initiating a train control station raked nearby electrical poles, which electrocutes it and sets some of the train cars on fire. Unluckily, Sophie arrives just as Barbara is about to leave. The following day, an unexpected storm bears down on the town. Just then, Karen receives a call from the Myers. Mal who is looking for Barbara. She also says that Barbara has humiliated Taylor by placing a skeleton in her locker. At the same moment, 
Barbara discovers that she still cannot use Kowaleski as she prays for the return of her weapon. Shortly after, Mrs. Mom manages to confront Barbara on her way to the sanctuary, saying that her mother is extremely ill and is eager to see her. Sadly, Barbara chooses to ignore the explanation. Meanwhile, Taylor comes to Barbara's secret hideout and destroys all of Barbara's belongings, as Sophia tries to stop her. After demolishing the hideout, Taylor leaves the area. A few moments later, Barbara arrives at the area. As she looks at the sea, a titan unexpectedly appears. Barbara immediately stands against it and draws forth the restored Kowaleski from her handbag, revealing a massive and glowing warhammer. Fueled by her wrath because she thinks that the titan came for her mother, she proceeds to defeat the titan with it. Lying injured on the beach, the titan reveals that he certainly came for Barbara, not for her mother. Barbara is stunned by its statement, and then she demands the titan to end it off. The titan snatches her up and draws her close to its head, so she can strike it down with Kowaleski. As the giant falls back into the ocean, it brings Barbara with it. Sinking below the waves, she hears the voice of the giant telling her that every living thing must die. It also says to run from death is to reject life, and that she must discover a joy in every moment while she can. Feeling motivated to live again, Barbara swims back to the beach, where she ultimately can reunite with Sophia. Soon, Barbara climbs upstairs to see it which turns out to be her mother, who lies dying in her bed. They share heartfelt messages and Barbara apologizes for avoiding her all this time. After summer vacation, Barbara's mother dies, but Barbara is able to rekindle her relationships with Mrs. Mal, Karen and Sophia. On her first night of school, she is waked up by the Titan, who stands in the ocean and watches her from afar. Lastly, she says thank you and goes back to nap peacefully. And the end. If you are a lover of similar content like this, take a look at my various videos and if you love it, please burst the like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel and smash the notification horn. Take sight of you in the next video.